YouTube. What's good? Hey, listen, we are back here with another video. Hey, listen, we had to take a break. We had to uh, get some things situated. But we're back. UK drill rappers arrested for making music. Digga D and crew, you know what I'm saying? Um, I know I did a video um, a while talking about other rappers being banned for making music or performing that that um in their country or um, they have to go outside their country to even um p perform music which is just crazy but let's let's hear what's going on that has spread from its birthplace in chicago across I know the ocean to the uk music is the drill has become bigger. more than a musical genre it's a and, movement uh, and a here. lifestyle that reflects the dark reality of the street, including murder, robbery, drug dealing, and any other crime you can think of. I can honestly say that, no, I ain't gonna open that can. This has led the UK authorities to attempt to ban the music by blocking the videos of top drill artists from YouTube and arresting well-known rappers just for making music. That's probably Here's why a look some at of my some videos UK drill blocked. rappers who were arrested for their bars. Skengdo and AM. Skengdo and AM are a British rap duo from the Brixton neighborhood of London. They are known to be members of the 410 Collective, a prominent drill group that is also alleged to be a street gang linked to numerous stabbings and other crimes. Skengdo released his first mixtape, Two Bunny, in 2017, on which AM was a featured guest. The two collaborated with Chief Keef in 2018 for the song Pitbulls and established themselves as leaders of the UK drill movement. But 410 has beef with another music group and gang called the Harlem Spartans. Their constant wars with this rival group attracted the attention of British authorities and media outlets like Sky News, who featured the crew in a documentary about gang violence in 2018. Their activities also caught the attention of the British police, who handed the group a gang injunction back in 2018, claiming that they were inciting violence with their music by glorifying crime and taunting rival gangs. The laws in the UK are different than in the US. In America, music is protected by the right to free speech. There are limits to what a rapper can and can't say, especially when it comes to acts of violence. But in the U.S., the police can't decide to ban you from creating a particular kind of music. If you rap about something and actually do it, prosecutors can use it as evidence to build their case against you. We are seeing this right now as it goes on in the court. Judge is trying to use lyrics in a case. I ain't even trying to put that case out here on this channel. I ain't part of nobody. But they can't prevent you from saying it in the first place. The UK has a completely different set of laws when it comes to speech, and therefore, the courts have ruled that drill music can be outlawed because it is known to incite violence. In 2018, they launched a program called Operation Domain, where they arrested 20 rappers and had 118. Courts have ruled that drill music can be outlawed because it is known to incite violence. In 2018, they launched a program called Operation Domain, where they arrested 20 rappers and had 130 drill music videos removed from YouTube. You know, that could be the reason why that a lot of my UK videos in the beginning got got taken down by YouTube. Like, that is the reason why I got strikes on my channel. Like, I wasn't fast. I guess I wasn't moving fast enough for YouTube to, to take them down. Engdo and AM were a part of that crew of rappers who were banned from making music under what is called a criminal behavior order, which prevented them from making music, publishing songs, or music videos without the permission of the police. This was a major blow to the two rappers, who were considered leaders of the UK drill scene at that time and on their way to building legal careers away from the street. In 2018, there was a series of gang-related murders that made police crack down on the genre. Even though 410 were not directly involved in any of the killings, the murders did involve their ops, the Harlem Spartans, and another crew known as Moscow 17, which led police to believe the group had some involvement. Even if they didn't commit the murders themselves, the police argued that 410 were adding to a culture of violence that resulted in the killings. The group was banned from directly or indirectly referencing their enemies in their music or referencing any past crimes. Their track, Attempted 1.0, was used as a prime example of a song intended to incite violence against their ops, and they were banned from ever playing or performing it. Because most of their music was based around street subjects, it was nearly impossible for Skengo and AM to continue their music career the way it was going. But that couldn't stop their hustle, and they continued to release music that didn't mention the Spartans or any of their ops. It wasn't long before the criminal injunction caught up with them, and the duo was arrested after a performance at Coco, a venue in Dang. London, on December 10, 2018. The group performed one of its classic hits, Attempted 1.0, the track the police had used as a reference of the type of song they are not allowed to release and perform. 
Although no acts of violence were actually committed during the show, the performance of the song was enough for police to arrest them for violating the criminal oh, behavior they was order. Petty. The duo they was, was charged with breaking a gang injunction and sentenced to a nine month suspended sentence that was to stay in place until 2021. This meant that they were not given any immediate jail time, but if they broke the injunction again, they would be sentenced to prison for nine months. This was the first time in UK history that anyone had been given a prison sentence just for the performance of oh, a song. song. The duo continued to release music, but it limited the group's creative abilities and held them back from performing any classic songs that their fans know and love. The gang injunction is set to expire in 2021, which means they soon may be able to rap however they want. Hopefully, this means that Skengo and AM can get back to releasing gritty bangers and reclaim their position in the UK drill scene. But Skengo and AM aren't the only rappers to get hit with the criminal behavior order that impacted their ability to release music. This next rapper was hit with a CBO that resulted in him going to jail three separate times, including once where he was stabbed in the eye with a shiv made from a tuna can. Yup, here's the wild story. Digga D. Digga D is a rapper from West London who is known for being a member of the hip-hop collective 1011, later renamed CGM. He's considered one of the first UK drill rappers and is credited with being one of the originators of the sound. He made his debut on the drill scene in 2016 with the track Hella Bands after getting kicked out of school when he was arrested for possession of cannabis. Although Digga D initially didn't make much of an impact on his own, he started making music with his friend under the name 1011, a combination of the W10 and W11 postcodes, which were the areas they grew up in. The group started gaining attention with tracks like No Hook and Play for the Pagans, which are now considered classic UK drill tracks. 1011 used to be part of a larger group called 916, which contained members of. Listen, I cannot react to no Digga D on this channel. Every time I react to a Digga D, that train come up blocked. And I, you, I could pause as many times possible. It, it, it always happens. For the W12 neighborhood of Shepherd's Bush, but internal tensions with the group led them to split off into multiple different squads. The guys He's from so W12 petty. became the group's 12 World and 12 Anti. The rest became just 1011, including Digga D. Since then, 1011 has been involved in an ongoing deadly beef with the two other sets, which has led to multiple stabbings and arrests. At just 14, Digga got ran up on by dudes from 12, and the brawl was captured on camera. Speak up, open your mouth, fam. Speak up, open your mouth, fam. Where you from, fam? Pussy or fam? So what? Have you got these youths? Are you involved in the fight? with them? Are you involved? Have you gone to anyone from Bush? No. I didn't think so. You're not involved? No, you're not involved. Say, 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 bro. Say, bro. In 2017, a video came out of members of 12 dissing the 1011 members' grandma, which led to Digger leading an attack against them. But local residents saw them riding down the street on bikes wearing baklavas, the face masks many drill rappers wear to hide their identity. The group was stopped by police and caught with machetes and baseball bats. The crew claimed that they were just on their way to shoot a music video, but the cops weren't convinced, and they were all arrested for conspiracy to commit violent disorder. Digga D, along with four of his friends, were sentenced to a year in prison and hit with a criminal behavior order, which prevented them from writing or publishing music that references ops or any crimes they committed. But that didn't stop Digger from releasing music. He found new creative ways to rap about the streets without directly referencing enemies or his past activities. It also didn't stop the police from keeping a close eye on him. He was only out of jail for a few months before being brought back for breaking the CBO. He was released for the original charge in October 2018, but arrested again in 2019 for entering the W12 postcode where his rivals lived, which he was banned from doing because of the CBO. His lawyers argued that this was too restrictive and traveling into nearby neighborhoods were sometimes necessary to live and conduct business. So they let him out after just two weeks. But not long after, Digga D and his crew were involved in another violent situation outside a metro station that sent the rapper right back to jail. On January 2nd, 2019, Digga and two other members of 1011, who went by the names Savo and HK, were involved in a knife fight outside of the Westbourne Park tube station on Harrow Road in London. The fight was not with 12 World, but with another rival group called the Harrow Road Boys. The fight took place in an area so known as Mozart, TV named in after London. the Mozart Estates That's where well. the Harrow Road Boys are from, an area that Digger was banned from entering because of the CBO. HK and one of the Harrow Road Boys ended up getting stabbed, and the whole thing was caught on surveillance camera. Check out our Didn't video on UK rappers and knife fights for more info on this fight. Not long after the fight, Digga was brought back to jail for breaking the CBO again by entering Mozart and getting into a machete brawl. While he was in jail awaiting trial, he was stabbed in the eye with a shiv made from a tuna can. He ended up almost losing the eye, and in court documents, his lawyer revealed that he suffered from PTSD over the stabbing. It's not clear which op got the drop on him, but it was likely someone associated with the Harrow Road boys since he was in jail for going to war with them. 
In March 2020, Digger pled guilty to violent disorder and breaching a CBO and was sentenced to two years and six months in prison. Savo also pled guilty and was sentenced to three years. HK was only 17 at the time and his records were not released to the public. Digger shocked fans in July 2020 after rumors circulated that the rapper was home after only serving a few months of his sentence. He managed to confirm those rumors by getting arrested again after attending a Black Lives Matter protest. On July 14, 2020, Digger posted to Twitter that the police considered speaking about BLM as promoting violence and he was brought back to prison just for attending the event. Wait, he has since been released but continues to have issues with the cops and face legal battles related to his CBO. It can be hard to continue to have a successful career as a drill rapper when playing the wrong track at a show or stepping into the wrong neighborhood can get you sent back to jail. Hopefully, Digger can keep his head down and keep making music until the CBO is lifted and he can get back to making grimy street bangers. But if you thought that was crazy, this next rapper killed a man and dropped a freestyle where he talked about it on YouTube, all while in prison. Here's what happened. SJ. SJ is a rapper from Tottenham, North London, who's associated with the group Original Farm Boys, or OFB. They are known for featuring well-known drill rappers like Hetty One and RV. SJ was one of their younger, up-and-coming members whose career was cut short after he was arrested for murder in 2019. Hetty One and RV put OFB on the map and are respected names in UK hip-hop and the drill scene. Yep, and SJ they was seen by many to be the next wave of OFB, having racked up over 23 million views on YouTube for tracks like Youngest in Charge. Like many UK drill rappers, OFB got hit with a gang injunction in 2019 and had several of their music videos removed from YouTube. They've attempted to get around the censorship by avoiding dissing their ops directly, which has forced them to try to clean up their music and image. But on the night of February 22nd, 2019, SJ's life and career changed forever after he was involved in a fight that left a man dead. SJ, along with six other members of a gang called NPK, planned an attack on ops that resulted in two stabbings. They got together on bikes that night and headed into Wood Green, where they spotted their target, Kamali Link, also known as K1, with a group of his friends outside the View Cinema. Someone in the crew started firing shots at K1 and all hell broke loose. SJ and the MBKs ended up catching up to K1 and his homie Swift, She's who both crazy. tried to jump into K1's car. One of the MBKs shot Swift in the ass before the rest of the crew jumped on top of him and started stabbing. K1 got into the car and tried to ram into the group to keep them away from Swift, but there was too much traffic. He ended up getting pulled out of the car by SJ and the MBKs and was attacked with knives. K1 got out of the car and ran into a local hairdresser called the Coffee and Cream Salon. Terrified witnesses watched as K1 was stabbed to death inside the salon by three men in masks. They all fled the scene and ended up getting caught on camera running away. K1 ended up dying from his injuries and Swift survived but was critically injured. Five men were arrested, including SJ, several that were under 18 at the time. How the you get arrested with your and mask conviction, and In total, they were sentenced to a total of 116 years in prison. SJ himself sentenced to life with a minimum of 21 years, but getting a life sentence hasn't stopped his hustle. While locked up, SJ has recorded several prison freestyles over the phone, which have been uploaded to YouTube. In one he raps, I lost my brain. At 14, I went insane. At 16, I put three ops on my blade. People say I shouldn't rap this way because karma's a bitch and might hit me one day. The police aren't too happy about him continuing to make drill rap even while behind bars, but he's already got a life sentence, so at this point, there's not much they can do. Right. SJ had a lot of talent, and unfortunately, his career ended way too quickly. His story was another case of a rapper who couldn't leave the street life alone, and it ended up costing him everything. Hopefully, he can keep recording bangers from jail and work on appealing his case so he can have a shot at being released. The story was another case of a rapper who couldn't leave the street life alone and it ended up costing him everything. But if if he was sentenced to 21 years, I think they said he was, what, 17, 18 when he got arrested? He still got plenty of, plenty of time. I mean, he'll be an old drill rapper when he come out, but he'll still be... Still know if he's still making, you know, freestyles on, 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 um, in jail. Hopefully, he can keep recording bangers from jail and work on appealing his case so he can have a shot at being released. Although, if he keeps admitting to past crimes in his freestyles, the chances of an early release aren't looking too great. Drill is a genre. But yeah, if, if he got 21 years, what did I say, minimum? 21 he's he's he'll be a 
old drill rapper when he get out, but he'll still if he if he keeps still dropping freestyles, but just just stop referencing because you know I mean well that's an easy way for them to keep denying you from getting early release though. Oh, Jesus, who knew that? You can't talk about shit in the UK. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna go. Yeah.